When working as a team in a OneNote notebook, it's easy to find out when changes have occurred. You can share notebooks with multiple people, but when they go in and change things in the notebook, you want to make sure that um, you understand what it is that they've changed. So there's two things we're going to talk about today. That's setting tasks or to-dos for other people and then following up when people have made changes to the notes you've added. So notice here we have these titles and see these two that are in bold here, trips and HNI. If I click on trips, do you see how archive not is not bolded but summer 2016 is? This means that this has some information that I have not read. When I click on it red, now it turns to um, not bold and see how here there's no bold here. Again, look at HNI. It's bold. There's no bold in here, but there is bold in here. And see here, basic out of line, cloud migration, security, operations, and geo dispersed. All of those are indicating that um, I need to read additional information. Notice if I sit on it long enough, it just goes away, indicating that I've already done that task or I've read through that information and we're good to go. You can also take and do a right click on here and say mark is read and it'll, it'll mark out all of the things that have been read. One last thing that you can do also for others is to hit the control and I apologize um, my screen capture is not tall enough but there's a little box at the very top of the home tab that says to do it's also control one do you notice the little check box so control one is the um, is the shortcut key so if you do control one it'll add this little box for subtasks or assignments when the other person comes in and clicks on it let's say you're assigning it to somebody else they click on it then it shows as a check mark this is a very easy way to track tasks among team members in a one note type of format and then everybody when they're done they can click and once another person clicks their initials will appear here to the right of the note and then this will turn black or bold